which is as ideal as it can be, to have the space and the light and the peace and everything around you that's very, it's very beautiful. The mountains are gorgeous here. The reason you get up, I think, is because you're excited about what you're going to do when you do get up. You know, you're excited about the work you're going to do or what the morning is like and how it will stimulate you to work. And, and you know you're going to have that lovely peace before everyone else gets up. You could say perhaps that, that I'm the painter of the Amish people. And of course I paint the Amish people and the Mennonites. However, a horse is not a Mennonite, and neither is a goose, and neither are a group of buildings, nor is the Ponto Vecchio, nor is um, a square in Venice, nor is something else in Germany. You know, um, wherever an artist goes, if an artist lives in a community like the Valley of Virginia and has the Mennonites around them, and if on her day off she chose to go out in the country and be near the Amish, then chances are she'd come back and paint the Amish. If you get there very early in the morning, you can see them all doing those things. You can see those little buggies clipping by very quickly, getting to where they're going, and they're, they're, on, their, they're on the road to do their work. And it, it's just a marvelous experience to be there. The thrill is to have your own style of painting. It, it, it would not please me at all for someone to come and say, oh, you're just like Grandma Moses, or you're just like Andrew Wyeth, or you're just like Picasso. I don't want to be any of those people. I love those people. I love what they do. I think it's magnificent. But it would not be an honor for me at all to be told that I was like them. I would rather be um, absolutely nothing than to be like somebody else. To me, one of the most important things is to communicate with you and tell you who I am, and hopefully you'll like me. And hopefully we can communicate with one another. And that's how, that's how, I, that's how I think I, I paint. I paint to communicate with you and have you be uh, drawn to my work, and so you're drawn to me. I want things to be positive. When I do a horse, I don't want it to be a very sad, drooping horse. I want it to be a vigorous, uplifting horse. When I do a goose, I don't want it to be a dead goose. I want it to be something that is strong and majestic and marvelous. And I want you to say, oh, it's fantastic. It's strong and it's beautiful. You might say, well, you should be reminded of the pain and suffering. I don't want to remind you of the pain and suffering. I don't want you to remind me of the bad things in my life. I want you to remind me of the good things. I want you to say, hey, um, even though there were those bad things, forget it, because I don't have time to waste on the bad things. I'm working on the good things in my life. And I hope that you will work on the good things in your life. <laughs>